And uh, one of the first things we should talk about is how Samoa Joe, according to Dave Meltzer, is being groomed for the world heavyweight title. Granted, this has been planned for a good two years and pushed back time after time because they didn't want to do it too soon. As far as timing goes, because this whole business is about timing, they probably missed the optimum time by at least a year. The reason he hasn't gotten a single shot as of late is there's a mentality that the next time he gets the shot, he may not have to win it the first night, but he does have to prevail in the program. Now the idea is to get the right timing for when Angle should lose. It wouldn't shock me to see Angle versus Joe at lockdown. Did it feel like you were delaying the inevitable with Joe? Was there a concern about doing it, quote unquote, too soon? Sure. And, and when Joe came in, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to get my months me me messed up. But, you know, Kurt hadn't been there that long. And Kurt was, for lack of a better word, the lead horse. And that was the mentality. And I'll say in, in a lot of ways, we felt. Wait, Joe came in first, though, right? Joe was first then angle. Yes, but Joe. Yeah. Okay. But, but what's the month now I am getting confused. Regardless. I'm Joe started with TNA soon. And then when Kurt came in, they did the face off in the ring. And that's what got me really excited. The first ever Samoa Joe, Kurt angle confrontation. But Joe, okay. Yeah. Okay. But Joe's storyline, as I recall, that, that we, we felt was his, his storyline was the undefeated streak. And so yeah, yeah, yes. you, the undefeated streak in our eyes trumped a world title. Why put two storylines into one? You can have a world title storyline and an undefeated storyline and build up different opponents. And Joe was just on a steamroll and a steamroll and a steamroll. I also, uh, from the day Joe came in, his personality is – and you, we just saw it this past week. It, it's a unique skill set. He doesn't have to say a lot. He's articulate. Uh, but I wanted to kind of develop his character along with the undefeated streak, which I know it's part and parcel. It's it's one and the same. But it's to me, it's really not getting the people to know who Joe is. Yes, yes. I'll just say character development. I, I'm also a big believer that yes, you can wait too long, but I also know that once a baby face comes in on the scene and achieves the gold gold uh, goal g o a l and g o l d um they arrive at the mountaintop and there's nowhere to go but down and and the human emotion you know it's it's like you know rocky didn't win his first 15 minutes in every in any movie or 20 minutes or you know you wait to the end for it for him to triumph and then you can have a cliffhanger or to, to lead into a sequel we really felt that about joe that we knew we had something special we were rolling along we didn't want to combine the storylines and just see how it played out at the same time kurt um can wrestle with anybody can brawl with anybody and kind of that was it. so it was it was a debate I, I when i read the research that melser said that we waited a year too long i thought dave was probably doing a good job of selling his newsletters and i say that with diplomacy it it it, it made his statement feel real strong but i disagreed with it i agreed with him I, okay. as a, as a TNA fan at the time, uh, the undefeated streak you're talking about started when he started in 05 and it carried on through a six and that's when angle beat it. And then he's going to oh six. Yes. Okay. So I, in my head, once we finished that undefeated angle and streak in 06, yeah, maybe, maybe 07 could have been the time to put him in the world title picture. What you're saying about the undefeated streak and the world title, you know, you get more mileage out of them separately. That totally makes sense to me. I get it. But I also think sometimes timing is important, not just in terms of doing it too soon, but doing it too late as well. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I go back and I look at a guy like Lex Luger and I think, man, what a big star he was, but mightn't he have been a bigger star had he beat Ric Flair in 88? I think he would have been a much bigger star. Um, and I think there's a, a, a handful of instances over the years where, Hey, they should have won it there. They didn't. And then by the time they did, it just didn't matter as much. Another example might be Barry Wyndham. What if Wyndham would have won it in 86, as opposed to winning it years later in WCW? I don't know. Am I being too much of a fan in that? By all means, please say so. But I just think momentum is a real thing, not just in sports, but in, you know, entertainment yeah. as well. 
it, okay, I I agree. So I, I, this is good point point counterpoint. I also believe, and I would have to kind of get the spreadsheet and kind of look at the main events. I think there's a huge difference in Joe winning the title. Let's just say at, at one of the the other eight. There's the big four, and then we'll call it the other eight. And out of the big four, there's always a, a big one. For in our setting, it was Bound for Glory. Uh, that was it. So I think they're, especially for babyface, I think ba the the babyfaces, especially for the first time, need to win it on the big show. We didn't actually work that out here. I think Joe ended up winning it. Uh, we'll get to that episode later on lockdown. Um, but winning on a, a big, big stage. And so sometimes timing, whether it's the Wyndham storyline you're talking about or Lex, and I don't know, you've got better recall. Is, is there a certain event that you thought Lex should have wanted at because I think a lot of times the build and the payoff and the money to really ring the cash register you got to kind of have to timings everything so it needs to be a big show the story's got to be right the heels got to have enough heat where the people care for him to lose it and then the baby face got to have the right momentum behind it so uh interesting you say that but uh it's a good point counterpoint for us to have that conversation 